Hey everybody and welcome back to another video. So today <laughs> we are taking a look at three PS3s. So these three are different than my usual batch. Usually I deal with US consoles. These are three consoles from Japan. So I have one C E C H A double O B double O. So as you see, no um USB flap for the the readers. Another A double O. All three I went on an auction and got them shipped over here, so I'm in the US obviously, if you don't know, now you know. Um, and all three have yellow light of death, didn't do anything other than power them on and make sure that they work or don't work, and I had my hopes up, so we're gonna look at this one just to show you guys that it is in fact broken. Power's on, looks like it's gonna do something, and then nothing happens, beep beep beep, yellow light of death. Which is cool. Um, so in this video, we're gonna take a look at all three, go through the process, and get them sorted. So what that entails, gonna take each one apart. I was thinking about doing all three together, but I don't wanna get lost and mix parts up. So we're gonna do one at a time. So we'll do like this one, this one, this one. We're gonna read the syscon codes, see what they are, and resolve them properly. So if that means replacing the tokens, reballing it, making it a Frankie, we'll get it done. I'll try to combine everything into one video. Hopefully they're not like super duper long or any of that fun stuff. But yeah, we'll um, just kind of take it as we go and see what happens. So um, with that being said, I'll get them out you guys on a tripod and uh, we'll just kind of get started with console one. So console one will be no flap. Console two will be the B where you can open the flap. And console three will be the A that kind of has everything all together. And just so you know, all three do have warranty stickers removed, so I don't know if anything has been done. We'll find out together. But yeah, let's kind of get started. Alrighty, zoom in right here because I want to remind you crazy cats, don't go at this without reading your syscon. All you need is one of these guys. So, easy, takes two seconds to solder it. I'll leave a link to R.I.P. Felix, his little guide, not a little, very informative guide, that will point out everything you need to know when it comes to diagnosing a COK001 or 002 board to get it working and not just guess and chop off things like the tokens or reballing when not needed or any of that fun stuff because none of it's fun. So there we go. So once again, I'm gonna try to do this. Unfortunately, I'm left-handed, so my hands keep getting in the way. But TX over here, RX over here, diag for internal axis. If you're doing external, you don't need that. Ground to ground plane. Also, someone else that may be useful, Mr. Computer Booter, Computer Fooder <laughs> of the West Coast. He does these almost every day, so you can kind of watch one of his nice streams and uh, see what's going on. So I'm gonna plug this in. Lights up. You need to give your board power. So easiest way to give it power is power supply here, five volt. Do what you gotta do, give it its power. I'm not gonna show you guys doing it, but I will come back once I have gained internal access. It's not very hard. Once again, I'll leave the link down below. Alrighty guys, so we are in here. So the first one I just did was BE count. So basically this is to bring up, bring up shutdown. So we have 5,071 times it was turned on, 4,953 times it was turned off. Power on, so it's been used 320 days, two hours, 48 minutes, 42 seconds. So not the worst, not the best. Next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do 
bring up, which is going to just power it on. It's going to cycle. You're going to see a bunch of things. Beep, beep, beep. And we get uh, 2120 and 1001. If we check our error log, we should see those there. So 2120, 1001, 1002s. 1001s, 2120, 3032s. Um, so this is all over the place. So basically from here, what I recommend you do is um, just decipher it. There's your wiki. I know 2120 is an HDMI, I think, related issue. So let's find out. 2120, yep, 2120 is HDMI related so I'm used to 2120 and 3034 kind of being the same but it is what it is and then we got our 1001 which I think is power related I don't I can't remember I do so many of these I should um so 1001 power related cell so most likely this cell tokens so and then we got 1002 which is power rsx 30 32 kind of scares me because i don't i don't like those so if we look at 30 32 that's usually yeah see cell related um it might just be the tokens that are bad and so we kind of deciphered all of them right there so this one might not be that difficult this one might just be a simple um NEC token, I also didn't um, take it out of its shell, but as you see there, the tokens are in place, screws were missing if you saw me taking it apart, um, but yeah, I got the power supply back on, so yeah, that's that's all we're going to do, we're going to shut this one down, this one should be simple, beep, going to put you back on the tripod and we're going to take this out of its shell and just see what's going on. Um, if I was you, if I'm working on many consoles, I just copy and paste these into different sheets so I can keep them for my big brain energy. But yeah, one down. Let's see if we can fix it easily. Cool, so what you just saw me look for when I was like, Turning it is to see if there's any signs of flux, maybe if like it was reflowed. But it actually looks pretty clean, I guess. This probably isn't stock thermal paste, but it wasn't delitted as far as I can see. Maybe Ooh, maybe it was reflowed actually. The cell looks kinda kinda toasty on the reflow. <laughs> um But I still think this can be saved, so what I wanna do is take out the to the NECs from the bottom. Um, I guess we'll start off with the cell side. And for anyone that follows, instead of you know doing crazy stuff, there is. Let me put my big box of stuff. These guys. Oh God, I feel like I'm doing so much shameless plugging. Mr. Felix made these, which are the PS3 tantalizers, and you can make your own. Um, they're also for sale by Mr. Computer Booter in the US. And what this does is it takes three tantalizers and some MLCCs, and you nicely install them over your tokens like so. So as you see this guy. And obviously it doesn't go on top, it goes like literally you cut these out and you put these. And it makes the installation nice and fancy, no need for those um, wires and stuff. So I'm going to cut these off. Um, I need to make two, because I don't make them in advance. And my method of cutting those off... Um, I'm just grabbing my tools real quick. Is, and I know a lot of you might shun me for it. I like to use one of these. Oh, where are we? There we go. What the hell is this you might ask? It's an exacto knife. And I literally just get in there 
and I cut them off and it takes two seconds and I haven't failed yet doing it so let's do one together and there you go that took like probably two minutes to get one one uh where are we where are we where are we guys here we are so get, uh hold on here we go so get one of these removed you just kind of feed in under oh no i hit this one off certain times that happens but i can easily just put fix that um normally that don't happen it's because i'm shooting a video this happened but the price you pay so i'll do that for the next one So uh, once again, complete enough talking for me. Four tents on it. One's already down over here. So I just kind of place it here, right? Oh. Place it there, you know, get it lined up. And I add a little bit of flux. So I can just tack down one corner and get some flux, some solder on my iron up as best as I can tap that side down so that side's in place and then add some more blocks and then I just kind of run it through That's basically how you do it. Uh, fixed cap, did my talkins. Maybe it needs RSX side, I don't know. <laughs> um, we will find out today. But I believe this should solve our um, 1001 issue. But who knows? If I don't. Sometimes these consoles are. Um, can, can uh, put you for a loop, so keep that in mind. That uh, you can do one thing and it'll it'll bring up something else. So let's just put our um, clamps back on. To be fully transparent between me and you, I'll probably end up frankying this off camera if it does work. Because we all know we like Frankies. Cool. Give her a power supply. There. I was showing this in the video because, ooh, where are you? Sorry. I was showing this because, like, this cable is super long. I've never seen one of those. Um, usually they're, like, way shorter. Maybe the original one broke and I'm about to break this one. Okay, that's in. Oh, yeah. Power. I have a feeling we probably still need to deal with the 2120, but I could be wrong. Oh, what do you know? I guess we did fix it. By God, we did it. <laughs> By God, we did it. Oh, that's of course I'm talking, it's for, for number one. So, you know me, it's gonna get the full treatment.
Um, but that shows, read your codes, do it the right way, and you won't have to worry about doing it wrong way. There's no hard drive in here, so it's gonna be doing whatever it's doing right now. And yeah, that's one down, two to go. Alrighty guys, this one will be console number two, which is the B00. So, taking it apart. Alrighty, um, second console did be count 1,158, 1,151, 130 days, 14 hours, 32 minutes, 46 seconds. We're gonna do error log, see what's going on. 30, 34, 44, 32. So it's gonna be 30, 34. I don't know if you caught it, but in the time lapse, I showed two coins. One coin on each, um, one coin like so on each, um, under each thing, you being used as a shim, understandable. So that's good, because this one can go on my 3034 pile, I mean it's not good, but it's better than nothing, so, let's see, oops, I shot down, oops, um, let's exit this, turn this off, turn it back on, just kind of what you need to do. This. Oops, sorry. And we'll do 
thing up, and we're gonna get a 3034. Yep. Enter 3034. 4432. The 3034. I'm gonna bake this guy in the oven for three hours and frank it, essentially. Or you guys are watching, yeah, you guys probably watch me frank it. So this one's a 3034. And we're gonna go back in the time lapse and do number three, because if both are 3034, I can bake both at once. So on to the next one. Alrighty, and here we at here we are at victim number three. So same thing. I'll take it apart now. another one p count 1477 down 1477 1452 shut down 1477 power up 181 2 12 11 seconds uh error log uh 1002s 1004s so i think same thing as the other one probably sell tokens are going to fix this one also maybe it works and we get 1002. Uh, if we remember, just in case if you forget, let's. 1002 is RSX. Oh, sorry, can't see it. But yeah, 1002 RSX tokens. And, oops, wrong one. 1002. It's gonna be 1002, 1001, and 1004. 1004 is power supply, which is fine. 1001 is cell. So I'm gonna to need to do both on this one, which is a okay. So we will um, do that, I guess. So before we start on that guy over there, the number three with the talkings, let's bake number two. So it's gonna be the usual. We're gonna hit bake. We're gonna do. 100C. Let's start. We're gonna max it up. So I'm gonna do like 
90 minutes is the max i'm probably gonna do like 180 if not more so there are it does look like something was going on with this maybe it was like reflowed or something because there definitely is residue so i want to bake it as long as possible and basically while number two bakes like i said we're gonna go back to number three number three which is the both side NEC tokens that need replaced on CPU and RSX. We'll replace those and then we'll revolve this on that when it's all done. So yeah, back to number three now. Alright, so uh, console 3, this is, you just saw me change all the tokens for the cell in RSX, let's see if it boots. I'm pretty sure it will. And, hey, 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 2 for 3 so far. There's no hard drive in here, so it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna struggle. That's just the way it's gonna be. Um, but yeah. It looks like it's working. Um, well, that's figuring out its life. Um, this guy is still going. So we're on like bake number four? 11 more minutes. I'm going to give it some more time probably after this. Um, and just so you, everybody knows, um, let's just uh, reset the video, I guess. Oh, oh, things 
There we go. Console, two out of three works. So just so you guys know, um, I'm not leaving them like this. So I didn't clean the flux under the tantalizers. As you see there, I'm gonna take everything apart and fully clean everything. D-lid, most likely I'm gonna D-lid the cell, RSX, clean up all the dust, redo everything, but yeah, not gonna show on the video because it makes no sense. Or else this video is gonna be like five hours long. But yeah, two out of three so far. We'll come back once the baking finishes because I want to, since these consoles are from abroad, I want to bake them as long as possible. To make sure there's no moisture, no popcorn, and no roses plant. But we're gonna Frankie this guy and do that whole jazz. So yeah, we'll come back when it's ready. All right, we got one fresh COK is usually your one board. <laughs> oh, the oven <laughs> just finished, so temps are reading at 63, which makes sense, 62. It's slowly dropping. That's because like, obviously it was baking, so I'm gonna start the profile. Same thing as usual, when we press start see things change so it's zero it's gonna heat up to like 160 I'm gonna start the profile 59 and we're gonna lift that at 225 clean put new chip back on new 40 nanometer back on blah 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 all good to go you know how it goes so we're gonna post you up and then you'll watch this process go while I'm doing that I'm also cleaning off one of these the other one that I did the tants on I am a bit worried I don't know if you guys can see it but um, there are signs of flux all around the RSX and cell, so I don't know if it was ref it was probably refloat or something. So I'm kind of worried that <laughs> this may not work, but we'll find out. If it does, this will be my first um, B model, so that'll be cool, I guess. But we'll figure it out when it gets there. So yeah, putting you guys up now.
console. It's done. Front key is done. Put it back together. I got this error, uh, 2102. And if we look on this is gone error log, 2102 is RSX short in cell. Um, I shortened the cell and then I can see talking and after moving it changed the error. You put pressure and it worked, so I decided to kind of Google it and someone said it was IC6301. Um, so it's over here on the board. Basically, it's this really small IC. Uh, uh, yeah, it's not. It's that guy. There we go. Um, it's on uh, right near the right near the um, right there. power right here so I just pulled it from another dead board I had swapped it um, oops and let's see if from the pull that's a good sign I guess double beep so that should mean it's gonna come on somewhere. If I have like multiple cables hooked up, um, HDMI is over here. I think over here is I don't I don't know. Sometimes these consoles are like funky, so you gotta mess around with your component. Should be fine. But I'm getting, once again, I don't have an, a hard drive for any of these. So this is kind of where it gets funky. Um, okay, uh, we're going to shut this down. This is what we'll do. We'll reset the video, maybe? Still, still no signal. Um, oh boy. I mean, it is booting as you see over here. We're on read CMD, so I don't know. This might be. Oh boy. Um, so for this one, it might it might be a green green light of death, where it's on a lower firmware. If it is, that's pretty sad. Um. Let's diagnose that one. So, we need to, I think I need to SBUART, which I've never done before, so let me uh, jig it all together and we'll, we'll we'll get back. But at least we know the GPU works, so yeah. All right guys, so update on um, console. So as you see, it's booted, green light of death. I ended up doing the uh, SBUART. So basically, uh, for PS3 stuff, you can join like these Discord channels, like. Computer Booter has his own, so it's a Computer Booter on Discord, and you can kind of ask questions here. So I've never done the SBUART stuff, but you basically need PuTTY to read it, and this is what I got. So it boots up, and it has this like RSX, AURSX number, hashtag 410-FFF, but it's stuck on Green Light of Death, and Mr. Ace, who's located in Australia, had a similar issue so he chimed in and said that I'm above 3.55 which is good but I have a 40 with a RSX AURSX issue and for him it was a faulty RSX with faulty VRAM he did one two to three days ago and replacing the RSX re resolved the issue so what we need to do now is re-remove the RSX put on another RSX and see if that'll work so um, I guess that's the plan. I guess we'll set up and redo that again. It is what it is, so yeah.
the time lapse caught but we reballed it twice once using a new old stock 40 nanometer from another dead console second time using a slim pull third time using a super slim pull with no ihs and didn't work as you saw a green light of death so we we flipped the cell now i'm getting yellow light of death so i'm officially giving up on this one so unfortunately we're not three for three this one's gonna be going into the afterlife or something, don't know. But, as you saw, one and two worked, which, if you need a refresher after all this, A00, A00. So, these two were pretty straightforward. Uh, I think this one was RSX side, that one was cell and RSX side, ended up doing both sides. The tokens, they work fine, they run a pretty newer firmware. Also delitted, both repasted, cleaned off all the dust. That's the only one that didn't make it. So yeah, that's kind of it for now. Um, not sure how much more uh, PS3 stuff you guys are want to be in for, but if you are, it'll I'll keep coming with them. Um, if you look up here on the shelf, there's at least four there. There's a few uh, motherboards there. There's stuff. There's another one behind there. There's like four more I got from Japan. So if you guys kind of want to see me do more PS3 stuff, I don't know, I can keep doing them. If not, I can also stop. Just let me know in the comments down below. And yeah, that's it for now. Fortu unfortunately, two for three, all good. I was hoping to bring that one back by keep keeping on doing stuff, but you gotta call it quit sometime. Can't keep reflowing and reballing things until it works, because then it's useless. But yeah, that's it. Sorry for this rant. Um, as always, like, comment, subscribe, all the fun stuff, and yeah, we'll catch you in the next one, for whatever that may be. See ya.